It's ready to implement cure violence. Some local advocates and educators tell News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris they think the program is a good idea, but implementation is key. And Janice is joining us live tonight. Janice, what's the opinion of some of the people that you spoke with tonight? Well, the program has this thing called violence interrupters, and the local activists that I talk to that are advocates and educators in this community say they want to make sure that those violence interrupters are also local. Just hours after the cure violence proposal was approved by the mayor and city council, local community leaders are optimistic. They have a good program. I'm going to put it that way. They have a good blueprint. But the work actually comes from the people in Jacksonville. We can take a blueprint and put it in action. Moy is from the east side and he has seen crime in his neighborhood and works closely with the community to reduce it. Cure violence sees violence similar to infectious disease. The goal, stop violence before it happens, reduce violent individuals and create social pressure to stop violence. So I think understanding, I think that idea that there's a social network that surrounds violence um, and that it can spread like a contagion uh, is, 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 is maybe a helpful way to think about it. The program requires requires violence interrupters. The belief is that these people will be in the communities where the problems are happening. These men believe the interrupters should not only be in the community, but be from that community. The way it's described, I think it is, it can be effective. So the violence interrupters, at the end of the day, this is about relationships. And those relationships need to extend within the community. Dr. Jamison also saying he is a member of the Eastside Brotherhood and saying that the Eastside Brotherhood welcomes cure violence to the community, including the Eastside community, once they begin the implementation process. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.